Today we're going to start the next part of our portrait project. We're going to work on the paper for our hat and our scarf. We're going to draw inspiration or get ideas from artist Eric Carle. You probably know him from The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Eric Carle is an artist who paints beautiful pieces of paper. He uses lots of different colors, lots of different textures in his work. And then he takes all of that paper and he cuts it apart. When he's cutting it apart, he's building little piece by little piece and putting those little pieces together to make one finished piece of art. It's called collage. We're going to start today by making some paper. And the first paper you're going to make is some plaid paper. To make some plaid paper, you're going to make some horizontal stripes from one side to the other side of your paper. Sometimes by the time you get to the other side, your paintbrush might run out of paint, so you might have to trace your line two times. Then I picked another color for my horizontal stripes. I'm working with vertical stripes now, and I'm going from the top to the bottom. One hand has the paintbrush, and one hand is holding my paper steady. Then I'll put it on the drying rack. To make squiggles, I'm going to go ahead and dip my paintbrush in and make a swirly line from one side to the other. I notice that my paintbrush is running out of ink sometimes, so I go back and I trace it again. When I'm using my color, I try to fill up the page, one corner to another. Then I can pick a different color. It's okay if my squiggle bumps into another squiggle. The colors will mix and it will be pretty cool. I have to hold my paper while I squiggle, otherwise my paper goes everywhere. I try to watch where my fingers go so it doesn't go on the wet paint. Lots of colors until I fill up the page. I am not making a big mud puddle, I am making lines. Another thing you can do with your paper is you can make polka dots. All I do is take my brush, dip it in different colors and make lots of polka dots all over the paper. Remember to fill up the middle, the top, the bottom, and the sides, not just the center of your paper. After you're done making two papers, you should put them on the drying rack. And you'll probably have messy hands, so you should wash your hands. Today, if you're finished, the only choice you have is read a book. Have fun!